this is a lot more than 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 just business. It's definitely personal, and uh, I can't wait to to squash that beef come come uh, October seventeenth. You know, and then we just throw it down, throw them hands, and may the best man win. You know, if I have something to say, I'm gonna say it, and and I have every reason to back it up. You know, I can back it up. That's the thing. I talk, talk, but I and I do the walk in the walk. So so, really, I talk my shit and I back it up. That's really what it comes to. If he's Muhammad Ali, I'm Joe Frazier. You know what I mean? Um, uh, that's what I see. So it's it's things like that, man. Um, I look forward to this fight, you know, and uh, it's definitely gonna be one to watch. Me and Lomachenko are going to have our own our own particular guards to make sure that we are escorted in and out of everywhere. So um, I mean, they have everything secured and everything uh, pretty much is strict. But um, it's it's worth it's worth it when you want, you know that you're getting all the belts for it, you know? You're fighting for all the belts. And I think that's the definitely uh, the cherry on the top come Saturday night. I'm only getting stronger, but not only am I only getting stronger, I'm getting much more smarter. I'm, I'm, I'm growing into the game much more. You know, you learn something new each and every day. So that's what we've been doing throughout this whole time, throughout the pandemic. Just working on my craft, and that's perfecting it as much as possible. Working on the things that I may need to work a little bit more on. So coming into this fight with Lomachenko, it, it, it's the same thing. It's the same routine. Um, we could beat him going 12 rounds. We could beat him by knockout, but we're going to win. The whole thing is we're going to win. Come that night, whether the knockout comes, whether it goes to decision, Teofimo is going out there to win. In order to prove that you are the best, you gotta face fighters like Lomachenko, and 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 that's what it comes to. You know, I, I fought Richard Comey, world champion, and we did it the right way. We beat the world champion, and now we're just gonna beat another world champion. That's what I look at, you know, and and that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm eyeing for. Every world champion that's out there, I'm going after them, you know, and beating them because it's not about who they are. It's about pretty much. What am I going to do in order to show the world that I am the best in my in my sport and in this era? So in order to be that, you know, you got to fight fighters like these guys in that high caliber. And I'm a world champion, so why not face another world champion? The best fighting the best. What changed my mind seeing the other sports doing it, you know what I mean? And seeing that even the ones that did also mention like LeBron James and stuff, talking about maybe not wanting to participate in doing that. Um, eventually it did. So I felt like, you know, idols like himself, like LeBron James and just big time players and big time, um, big time athletes that they're in there and doing their thing. Who am I to say no to that then? You know, so that's what also, that's what really what intrigued me on that. You know, I look up to all those all those athletes and all those uh, all those big time players. So, um, you know, and that's what definitely I was like, OK, I mean, if they could do it, why can't I? Go champ. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, baby. Ten. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Thank you.